Good afternoon to all of you. So hopefully we have power enough for the last workshop. As you can see, it's called Tell Your Story, Build Your Dream. And we are represented on behalf of XAMK Finland. So uh, maybe the first uh, idea would be that if you want to realize your dream, you need to pronounce them in your mind, orally, with different cultures. And basically, it's a part of our like project. Uh, very shortly about that. So. We have the project which is called Work-Life Path and International Workers, Students Getting the International Positions. So uh, we have a very lovely team. So uh, my name is Mikael and I'm the RDI Principal Lecturer, kind of like Professor of Innovation Entrepreneurship at XAMC. And we are doing quite much with the applied sector. This is my colleague Riku, who is the project manager and ideator of this project. And we have our beloved colleague, Minna, who is like the genius of communication and service design. So Minna can't be here. Uh, basically, Finland is a very lovely country for everyone. And definitely, it's a very good uh, possibility to grow yourself, to develop different career opportunities. And now we have like a huge influx of international students. And our policy of our country is to let them stay in the country. And quite many companies now, they also change their like, mentality towards more international. We already discussed the multiculturality diversity yesterday and today. And basically, uh, our project helps students who come to Finland and also companies to change their mindset to, to develop their organizational culture, self-leadership. So we let their dreams through, through the special communication things. And uh, definitely, our project has been ongoing, so we have already like about one year in the project, or a bit more, and we are going to continue in the next year. And we have achieved really good best practices, how you can name them, so we are planning to discuss them together with my colleague Riku. Thank you. So, why did I give you a card? Please. Find your team. Tens, jacks. Queens, kings, and aces. And we can go in a way that... We, we can go in a way that... Uh, okay, we, we have him. Jack, Jack. All right, let's go in, in this way. Aces to this table. Kings to this table. Queens on the back table. Jacks on the back table. And tens. Somewhere over here. So jets, aces, all the aces in this table, all the kings in the dish table, all the queens into this table, all the jacks go to this table, and all the tens will go in this table. All right, all right. So, these will be your teams in this workshop. So, we are now in step one. Okay? Heading for the step two. So, all of you are going to apply in a position of an innovation manager at Ingenium University for the future. So think about your story. What makes you unique? What do you want to tell about your background, your expertise, maybe your hobbies, to your friend? It's a job interview. You have one minute for your story. As you know, elevation pitch, you have a short period of time to make an impression. So on the step two, each of you in your group, one minute of your story. Then give feedback within the team to the person. Michal, can you please open this a bit? Yeah, basically uh, over the last days we are getting quite much feedback based on our presentation, but also there is one huge quality which we discuss with our HR managers, specialists of like large international companies that you also need to accept the feedback and give the feedback in a different way. 
So it should be very much catchy, uh, ethical, diverse, multicultural. Like we are all quite multicultural here. And whenever you tell your like one minute pitch story, you also present your culture, you present your backgrounds. And try to be also kind of, you know, sensitive and empathetic in, in, in providing the feedback. It should be quite brisky, like a couple of points, not really long one. But try to like, how to say, to address the person's nature and mindset with your feedback. So one minute pitch in our beautiful like hotel where we live, when we go up with the elevator, you need to inspire persons. And then the same, like when you give the feedback, you just need to share your emotions, sorry. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, when you have done the, uh, your one minute speeches in your group, you need to decide who has the best, the most inspiring story within your group. And we will ask that. So based on your feedback, based on your stories, each team will pick one out of three to go for the second round. All good? Yep, it will be. Uh, uh, I think uh, everybody knows the story quite well. But if you need time to write down your uh, one minute. Uh, uh, yeah, well. We started 10 minutes early, so we'll give you five minutes, okay? Normally, we don't give any time for our students, so your special group, you get five minutes presentation planning time. Uh, you have five minutes to prepare, and after that, one minute to sum it up to your friends in your group. And at this stage, please don't think too deeply. I mean, it should be really catchy. You know yourself, just believe in that. And the time is up. All right, uh, in your groups, we'll give you to go through this, so like one minute per person with the feedback, and in order to you to decide who is the best among your team to go for the second round, we'll give you seven minutes total for this exercise. And time begins. You can decide, you can decide first who will, who will go first. And when you have decided who will go first, please raise your hand that I know that the group is ready so we can continue, okay? Okay, yep. Are you ready? Teams ready, teams ready, teams ready. No, no, yep. I'll give you totally seven minutes for this one. You, you can time yourself for one minute of your pitch, okay? Are you all ready? All right, seven minutes begins now.
team, the team working on
All right. All right. All right. We, we have our second, second round, round candidates. candidates. And, and for you, you the it will be happening some times, times during, during the meeting. We don't, we don't know, know when, when yet, yet, but, but uh, we, have we have a few years, years to, to find it out. out. All right. All right. Same, same team, please. please. Same, same team. team. Now, now, you have, you have tested, tested this method, method that, that we, have, we are producing. Now, now, I want you to consider where can we apply, apply this in your, your work. work. More, More individual, individual work of, of your professional background. Where, where can you apply this method, method of, of this storytelling story that you just tested? So, so step number, number one, one, why this method, method is, is important. important. Where, where can you use it? So you, so can, you can have this custom in your group. Step, step number two, two how, how can you implement in your work? work? Because, because we have diverse backgrounds here. Yeah. Yeah. Think, Think about, about it. it. What, does, what it does it require? In, in you, you or within, within, within your, your department? department? Yes, sir. Yeah, can I just ask, um, would you talk about the method? And um, is it the case of the story, story plus feedback plus pick the best? Is that the method, or is it just telling the story? Just, just telling the story. That's that's, that's, that's to be the rest is just just, just, just an, 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 an bonus. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Just, just to tell the story better. How can you use that in your work? work. This, this was in groups and, and uh, let's, let's say, say in the homes that we have. Huh? In, in ten minutes, uh, uh, each of the group will have a microphone, and, and you can share to the peers. Where would you? Try this method in, in your, your university. So you have, so you have 10, ten minutes for this discussion in the room. How, how would you, you use this method? method? And, and then, after ten, ten minutes, few minutes, it's time to do share, share the, the peers. How would, how would you use that so we all learn more? Ten, ten minutes. Go, go ahead.
still like 30 I must see it. But I won't be Probably when you're going to do to take groups to learn better together. So many things.
with each other. So maybe this is also different. All right, thank you. Can you please pass the mic to the chat, please? Take, take a hold, please. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, uh, I think one of the main things is that you, you want to uh, uh, create an emotional connection with, uh, with the students, uh, but also students with one another, another. so you, you share something that they also talked about. Um, and it becomes something uh, personal as well, uh, but it also helps to create a, um, yeah, a sort of trust and respect between people. Um, so. Yeah, I think it can be used pretty much everywhere, especially when you when you meet students uh, or new people. Just be open about it, and I think that's also coming to the what does it require? Well, you need to have courage. Uh, you have to be co yeah, courageous to actually open up and give something away with yourself that you also uh, actually match. Uh, but I think also it, uh, it can help to to create a, for other people uh, a compass. Like, okay, where does this person? Yeah, how does that, this person think and, and reason uh, in that respect? Uh, so uh, I think also in that regard, you you, uh, you you get a better understanding of this person basically. Um, so yeah, I think we discussed all of those questions right now. Um, so uh, thank you very much. And then uh, I can pass the mic on. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, pass the mic to the queens, please. Mm -hmm. That's the queens. <laughs> um, from our viewpoint, I think it's very useful activity to be implemented uh, in our work or in our classrooms. Okay. Uh, in my case, uh, regarding my students, I consider it would be very useful for them is to gain confidence because they can know each other better. Okay. Uh, they can gain confidence, especially shy, shy students, okay, because sometimes they have difficulties when they have to present something to the rest. Um, also, this kind of activities may introduce them into the world uh, of uh, storytellers, and it's very positive. Um, they can establish networks, okay, uh, between them. Um, and of course, they can't uh, all paint their minds, okay, when they have to listen to all their viewpoints uh, of their classmates, okay? So probably they can't establish new horizons for the future for them. I would also try the idea of uh, telling the story in in our profession, in teams and uh, or maybe uh, work package meetings in, within engineering as a way to support diversity and so on. It could be a real simple check-in uh, point on the agenda where we can just briefly go through the uh, participants, uh, for example. Yeah, and you know, we're Homo Fabians, we make sense of the world through stories and connect to other people through the stories that we tell. These are, you know, how we relate to others. So this is a really useful tool for that. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go for the keys. Hello. Hello. Uh, I think this exercise is about what value you can add to the group. Because it's my story, it's the thing that I'm the most proud of, and then you give feedback, and everyone has a part to say in that. And this makes our story even better, because adding or striking what might not be useful, we make a better version of ourselves. Also, it's a little bit about competition or how to reduce it, because I want to say the best story of me, I want to impress everyone else. And that should be also, it's about, it's really important about what question you ask when you tell the story. Because we know fake it till you make it. And this might just help you win this game, but it's not uh, beneficial to your life. Also, it's a really good icebreaker. And it's sort of another question what makes up a good story? Thank you. Thank you. 
Then then for the ages. Ages. a lot of things that were said in other groups as well. Uh, one of the reasons why I think we're saying why this is important is that stories that are good at conveying purpose and, and, and the why of situations and we get so lost often in doing things that we forget why we're doing them and stories can be a good way to ground either the intentions, the purpose, the values that a person may have and, and it can be discussed within that just examples of bringing it into classrooms or bringing it into the kind of projects that we work on as a means to kind of uh, reconnecting with uh, again why we are doing the thing that we're doing. So that's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, just one, like, just to add to what was said here, um, one last comment, one last comment, like, I wrote down the difference between emotional versus logical, and stories help us connect again to the emotional level of humanness, and something I mentioned is that as we go forward in this world of more and more AI and computers and automation and etc., what is the element of the humanness, the human beingness that we bring to the world is that emotional level and remembering our stories and why we're here. Okay. All right, thank you. And now, and now ding, ding, ding. you've been waiting for the, the methodology. methodology. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, thank you very much. So it was really nice to hear and listen to you. And basically, the first my question, which usually comes from any audience of people, like where are the instructions, how we do that, why it's so like undescribed and so on. But very often, uh, you have quite many like fuzzy questions. You can't just then describe very like shortly or longly. And I would say like when you tell a story methodologically, basically you reveal the emotions. And uh, since you all are set in the multicultural teams to a certain extent. You need also to adapt the story. That's why the feedback here is super important. Like, actually, last week we heard very interesting opinion when students said that when something is good, we never leave a feedback. But that's like, should be a bit the opposite, because the skill of giving feedback definitely helps you to improve your self-leadership. It gives the stimulus for others to self-develop. And certainly it engages also the team learning. Because to our mind, like, when you speak about this, like, one minute or two minutes could be a really catchy time. I mean, definitely you can speak more. But given no instructions in the beginning, like, provokes your inductive learning. Like, you question yourself first, you question others, you start talking, like, listening to different people. And in Finland, we use that also for the special psychological testing before you're nominated or even accepted for the permanent position, whether you're a director, police officer, soldier, whoever. Like, you are getting into a certain stress, because it was mentioned that for the introverts, extroverts, it can be a really, like, nice, catchy, bonding, rapport, like, uh, exercise. Then definitely, uh, there was a question of where you go. That's absolutely true. But we also utilize the methodology we call it so, if we can call it so, like of Simon Sinek's Golden Circle Rule. And uh, this why. Why you do that? Why you need to squeeze it like to one minute? Because basically, psychologically, we need only like 15 seconds to make the first and probably correct impression of the person, of the company, of the shop, whenever you go, whatever you do. And uh, the future skills, if we speak about the future, that some we do quite much future related studies and research. It's all about the transversal skills. That's definitely a kind of soft skills, but for the 20th, second, third, and fourth centuries. And it's very much about like communication, because communication is king. I mean the way how you communicate with the companies, with your peers, with your families, that's super important. Nowadays we are all like messaging much more skillfully rather than talk. And our students, they face difficulties when they need to present themselves. Like, this was the idea of innovation manager, and we intentionally didn't give you any further instructions, because very often you need to brand yourself for the world. You don't know where you go, because quite many positions of Rico, mine, and personally, and many others, they were just built based on the stories, not based on the work description. Because quite often jobs do not exist. You inspire people to get you the job. And then the lateral thinking. So 
when you're putting a very like outside of the box like feeling, sometimes very uncomfy feeling, that makes you also to learn it that much more intensively. And we saw certain kind of like nonsense, a bit discomfort zone in the very beginning, but then you all manage beautifully to talk to one another, to listen to one another. So uh, for the end, yes, we are about to end, and now we will reveal how we use this method. We have put you through the the, the, the row. Uh, now we show what we did with this method. And, and uh, it, it might, might be something you discuss, or it might, might be something completely new. So, so hopefully the voices work. So, so we, we put our, our first, first year uh, uh, business students to apply for a job with, with one minute video uh, to the city of our city, city of Goa. And, and here's, here's the one that got elected based on his, his one-minute presentation to go, to go for the second round to discuss, discuss meet the Asian manager and he was eventually among two top, top two who were hired. So, so hopefully the, 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 this, this will work. Hello, I'm Adilu Zamandrubo. I'm... Okay. Something is Thank you very much. Um, one of the things that I uh, find 
strikes me and, and it uh, comes back to that every single time. It's like uh, uh, when you ask people to do this kind of things, they need to have the right material available, the right technology available. Uh, and to me, it's like uh, we also, in a certain way, we exclude people by uh, asking these type of yeah, yeah clips basically. Um, and I think as engineers, we just are so used to thinking, yeah, but everyone should have this available, which it is not the case. So was it actually also a, a conscious decision that those type of people that were applying for this position, that they should have uh, these type of skills? Uh, because I don't know about that, if it's really relevant for innovation manager, but yeah, I'm just curious about those things. Did you consider that? Uh, concerning the you mean that student, uh, what we do over. Uh, what, what I mean is that the technology, technology you ask uh, uh, to apply in a certain way, uh, uh, and you need to have uh, the technology available to you, and you also need the technology, you have to know how to use the technology. Um, but, but we also exclude many people because we just assume that they know this. Uh, and I was just curious, did, was this a conscious decision or not in your case? Uh, we have had several cases and uh, this, uh, we, have, we create different kind of parts depending on what the HR of the company wants. Somebody will give us free hands, create a recruitment process for us, we have done that. Somebody wants that we want a one minute video, so we'll go with that one. So it depends on the company what kind of recruitment process they have, and we try to challenge the process if we think it is too heavy, depending on that these are practical training, it's supposed to be first year students, maybe without any, uh, any work experience, so that that kind of person could apply for the position, same as somebody with a decade long banking experience, but changing career, studying in the same group. So we try to make it equal for all of our students. So we inform that, hey, one minute video, you all, can do it like this. That's enough. Uh, yep. I, can, I, can, I can just add that basically technology in our case is absolutely uh, kind of like second layer skill which we expect from them because definitely if they can make it like with their handy, with their phone, that would be more than enough. And many companies say that like in the second round when they were invited, that basically the persona and the personality of the person uh, is a way more important rather than the gigs that he or she use while recording the video. We had very beautiful, technologically beautiful videos, but it was like a nothing, like not at all. And then on the contrary, like people from different parts of the world just pitched a very small but very, you know, emotional, empathetic, multicultural thing, and they were drafted. Yeah, we, we had an HR company, recruitment company, holding a uh, workshop for our students, how you create your presentation. They have practiced it quite a lot in order to squeeze it into the one minute mark. But here is our uh, website. You can, you can uh, get the, from the QR code uh, about our current uh, website with all the publication, etc. And of course, you will receive the materials later on, if I understood correctly. So you can look in them there. So thank you. We will finish.